everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Adobe Live and the Adobe Express Masterclass. If we're just meeting, my name is Katrina Torrijos and I am the Adobe Express Evangelist. I am also a content creator on YouTube and a streamer on Twitch on the side. And I'm so excited to be here today. Hello to everyone in chat. Hi, Sam. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Monica. Hi, Umicorn. Hello, Sean. Oh my gosh, so many people this morning. Hello, Lauren. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so excited for today's class because today we are doing vision boards for 2023. So today, I believe, I don't think I'm mistaken, is the last Adobe Express class of the year. <laughs> which is so insane to think about. Oh my gosh, we went through an entire year of Adobe Express Masterclass. That is insane. Hello, Jen. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Um, and it's been such an honor. Oh, here comes the speech. Here comes the speech. It's been such an honor to be your Adobe Express Masterclass instructor this past year. And thank you all so much for coming to these classes. It really does make my week and it's such a great um, start to the weekend. And I just love seeing what everyone has posted um, on social media and, and pretty much everywhere on Behance, wherever you post your content using Adobe Express and I really hope y'all have been enjoying this masterclass. So I felt like today we're going to look forward to the new year and create some really awesome vision boards. So feel free to follow along with me in this class. Okay, so let's head on over to the screen. Um, okay, so we are on the home page. Where has the year gone? I know, right, Sam? It's insane. I can't believe we're, what, in the last couple weeks? We're in the final stretch of 2022. That is insane. Okay, so we are on the home page now, and we're just going to look up vision boards. And then, so we have a bunch of stuff. We have also so many different styles. So we have you know, ones that have boxes where you could put text and photos. We have some that are kind of like mood board-esque where they have like the colors and stuff, but you can totally um, remix them however you want. Um, and yeah, we have things that are literal like vision, you know, on a page. That's totally fine. All different styles for everyone to choose from. Okay, so I want to go... A little crazy I want one that has like a lot of space for um, photos and maybe some text um, but there's like a bunch of stuff is that cr is that a crown buff <laughs> totally Sean yes definitely a crown buff <laughs> okay so we have a bunch of different templates here today um, let's start off with something simple um, I'm really drawn to this grid one because it's just it just has like a bunch of photos that we can pop in and out and we can even like go off the lines for a bit. So let's experiment with this one today. Um, okay, so one, 2021, that was so two years ago. Let's change up this text here just by clicking on um, the text box and then let's do oh my goodness 2023 20, i was like what year am i putting <laughs> okay so we have vision board we could also change the font here um i really like oh this one does not have numbers it's okay we can take this out this was a custom font that i worked with earlier and i really like how it looks um Maybe we'll get it on two lines. Oh, I don't know. And then let's just duplicate this and then we'll just do the 2023 in a different font, which is totally fine. I also could have done, could I have done the different highlight? I probably could have. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. And then let's do 2023. I'm so excited. Okay, we'll just put it here for now. Um, and then now there's different layouts. Um, 
so I think this will have to go in this tab yes so the border and the cells have been set we're using this one right here but if you click on the shuffle it shuffles all the photos around so let's say like you know, maybe your photos don't, you know, exactly go well together or like you need to see them a little bit differently. If you shuffle it, it, do it doesn't only shuffle the pictures, but also the layout. As you can see, there's like different shapes. The cells are all different sizes, so you can mix it up however you want. I have visions of sugar plums. Yes. <laughs> More sugar plums in 2023. Okay. So let's just mess with the borders and cells. We can also do no uh, cell like spacing. We can. Or if you want it to be, um, what's it called? Locked. You could just lock it here and then the border and the cell will be, uh, what's it called? Locked together. <clears throat> okay, so right now let's just maybe do one. Let's get it kind of thin and then let's switch out the photos. So today I'm going to be using um, Adobe Stock. Thank goodness for Adobe Stock photos. Um, and we're just going to replace all these photos here um, to match or to make the vision board. And then we'll do like a little bit more with some cutouts and stuff. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I love doing vision boards is because it really gives me a tangible and visual like reminder of where, you know, of some of the things that I want to accomplish and like what my, what I want my year to look like or not even year. You can, don't, you don't have to do it for the year. You can do it for like a couple months, maybe two years, maybe five years or something like that. Um, and I don't know, I, and I like to have it as like the background of like either my desktop or I'll set it as the background of my phone wallpaper. Um, just so it's like there and it's not, it doesn't get buried under a million projects. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know. I've just been vision boarding for a long time. Um, this is my first digital one. Actually, no, my second digital one. Sometimes I'm more of a fan of like doing the old school like magazine cutout kind of stuff um, And I did it I would put like all these cutouts either on like a canvas or like a sturdy like poster board or something like that um, And then sometimes I'd like especially when I was like in a student in school I would post it like on the wall and make it like a fun little poster I don't know has anyone ever done that before when they were a student? Let me know I like those options. You need to try Express for more composition trials. Yes, I love that. Definitely. I just, I don't know. I love experimenting. Like with vision boards, I've actually never done like this grid style before. Some, I usually like to, you know, like as I said, magazine cutout person, I'll like have the photos be like freestyle, free flowing you know, and then kind of place it wherever I want, or I do like Polaroids or something, but I am new to this grid style, so we are experimenting today. Okay, so for my 2023, I definitely want to travel a lot more. I did a lot of travel this past year for the second half of the year. The first half of the year, I was staying home, and then all of a sudden, something changed um, the second half of the year, <laughs> and I was traveling every other week now while that was intense it was so much fun and i learned about not only myself and <laughs> who i am as a traveler but also like different places met some folks met a lot of ambassadors and some of y'all in chat in person for the first time it was just a really great experience so i'm just gonna go ahead and just click on these images maybe we'll replace this one um, and there's different ways you can replace images. So for me, the way that I, for some reason, do, which is a lot harder, is I would just place the image on top of where I want it to go and then hit add to background. <laughs> but then it creates another cell, but then we could just like delete the cell. And then like, I don't know why <laughs> I do that when I can just, another way is to just take the photo. Let's see, let's take a different one. Maybe we'll put another travel one here 
I will hit replace and then it'll take me to the photos, <coughs> the photo tab and then do, it'll like replace, you know, it the way it's supposed to, a lot cleaner. So let's just select another one. Let's see, I feel like we're gonna do a lot of like photo hunting. <laughs> Okay, we'll do this one. And then see how it didn't add another cell or anything. Oh, it did zoom it in though. Let's bring it back. Um, but yeah, that's like two ways to do that. Um, let's see, I love to travel. Definitely a 2023 goal. Yes, Lauren, more travel. The first half of the year was pretty good here in the UK. Since then though, we've been on fire, flooded and now frozen. Oh no, Oliver. I hope it gets better for you next year. Oh my goodness, that is so terrible. Those are not the best conditions for traveling and being outside. <laughs> um, okay, so on top of travel, oh, and also I wanna ask in chat, like what are some things that you wanna see more of in 2023? Like, do you wanna design more? Like how many projects do you wanna do? um what are your dream clients that you want to work with um is there any special places that you want to go or any personal goals that you would like to achieve um another personal goal for me is health your girl is reaching her late 20s and so in my last two years of my 20s i definitely want to step up my health game in terms of like eating better, going to regular doctor's appointments and stuff, and then just, you know, just taking better care of my body. Um, so let's look up maybe some health images. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Or maybe, hmm, oh, maybe. Food. Maybe we have some good, like, balanced food photos. Oh, yeah, like this one. I don't know. Food. I love food. <laughs> Maybe, like, healthy food. Oh, my gosh. I did not. <laughs> of course, on the last masterclass of the year, I did not eat breakfast. So here I am looking at food. I remember the top streams that made me super hungry was like, I think I did, um, I can't remember if it was here or on Twitch, the holiday Pinterest pins when I was making stuff about like cozy comfort food. Oh my gosh, I was starving during that stream. <laughs> I was like, I need to eat something after this and I'm looking at pictures of delicious food. My goodness. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. And then maybe let's do like, okay, I keep doing this. Okay, let's replace this other photo. And then I type in what I want to search. I always do it out of order for some reason. More 3D renderings. For me, I want to work on 3D design too. Yay! I want to travel more, go to places further afield. Yes, I probably won't, but it's the thought that counts. Not with that attitude, Oliver. <laughs> no, you will. You definitely will go to places far further afield. I want to develop my creative skills. Yeah, and health goals are always good. Yes, mama, mama, for sure. <clears throat> Uh, what kinds of creative skills would you want to de de want to develop? Oh my gosh, it is 9 a.m. for me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, yoga. I've always wanted to get into like yoga and stretching in the morning. Oh, I also want to journal more. So let's do like, oh, journaling. <clears throat> mm 
Mm -mm. Cross the channel sometime, yes. No carbs, learn yoga. Oh, cross the canal, Umacorn. <laughs> Yeah, I always want to balance more other creative things with what I want to do. Finding the time and not wasting it is the tricky part. Oh, yes, Sam. I feel that so much. That's kind of a long walk. I might get it. <laughs> yeah, Sam, you have such a good point. I think time was really not on my side this past year. I definitely, one of my goals that I set from last year. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> One of the goals I set for myself last year was to create more content on social, on YouTube. And while I did through these streams and stuff, um, I wanted to do more on my own personal channels. Um, but uh, it, time was just, just not on my side. Oh my gosh, it keeps zooming in. Come back. And... I think it's definitely going back on my vision board this year, for next year. <laughs> okay, I keep doing it. I keep jumping the gun and clicking on photos and stuff before doing what I need to do. Okay, so click the photo, hit replace, then type it in. <laughs> it is a formula. Okay, um, let's see. Content creation. Is that a thing? Okay, yes, it is. Give me a bunch of stuff. Oh, we have a streamer right here. I also want to learn um, a new Adobe product. <laughs> I always set. I always set out to learn. And it's something like I don't have to learn the, the the product in like in its entirety in a year, but like to have some skills down would be a plus. Um, I think this year I got to do I got to work with uh, Rush a lot and dabbled in Premiere Pro for a bit for some of the video projects. Um, and then what else have I done? Um, oh, Acrobat. Acrobat has been my best friend lately. <laughs> what else did I learn? Hmm. Uh, oh, um, it was, okay, it's either, I think it's Adobe Scan. I learned, I loved Adobe Scan this year. One of my favorites came in clutch for scanning receipts <laughs> and stuff for when I have to do like expense reports and things. Um, Adobe Scan was really cool. <laughs> um, Express, Adobe Express was new this year. <laughs> um, let's see. 3D and more music stuff would be fun. I want to develop my Photoshop and photography skills, watercolor painting, pointed pen calligraphy. Um, I love that, Llama. Yes, on time. When I find the time, then I waste it. Okay, how I waste time, my favorite way to waste time. Well, it's not really wasting, I guess, but I take a lot of naps. A lot. Like like too much <laughs> if I have downtime or if I'm taking a lunch break I'm taking a nap <laughs> and I don't need to oh what picture did I just remove oh I didn't remove anything um but yeah I take so many naps and like, even no, no matter, oh, I really like this bus. Let's keep that bus. I like these blueberries too. Okay, can we move on to this. Um, even when I have a lot of things to do, especially personal projects, I have a mountain of personal projects that's looming over me right now that I'm gonna try to get done when we're on um, shutdown. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get those done, but I, naps <laughs> feels so good 
Okay. Um, pictures, pictures. I definitely want to level up in my career. Maybe manifest a promotion or new job skills. Let's see. Oh, this lady is shaking the, someone's hand. Oh, I did it again. Oh my god. Let's. It was this one. <clears throat> I'd like to learn a new Adobe product too. After Effects has been on my mind. Ooh, After Effects. I've been curious about After Effects as well. It seems so much fun. And I get a lot of questions sometimes when I post GIFs. Um, people ask me if I use After Effects. And I'm like, no, I use Adobe Express <laughs> in the quick actions. <laughs> but After Effects would be really cool too to learn. Mm. Okay, let's see. Did I do it again? I did it again. Ooh. I wanna learn photography. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe, maybe this one. Okay, I kind of like where this is going. And then I want to replace this blueberry photo. Even though I love blueberries. I want to go to the beach or like nature a lot more. I feel like I spent a lot, an unhealthily amount of time in my room on your screen. <laughs> so, I definitely want to get out more, be more in nature. <laughs> that seems like a like a fun plan. Cuz I am very much a homebody. I was very much a homebody this past year. That like every time I had to either go outside, meet someone for lunch, go to the office. <laughs> I wouldn't have anxiety, but I would feel, I know I'd feel like some sort of resistance to like going outside <laughs> and it was pretty bad. Um, so we're going to fix that in 2023. We're going to learn how to touch grass again. <laughs> okay. So we have these photos done and then I'm just going to make this maybe bigger and then I think these photos that are behind I'm actually going to make these a solid color okay it did not choose the color that I wanted It's just like, the color you want is a mere suggestion. <laughs> Sometimes Adobe Express is a little sassy. <laughs> Maybe something like this. Maybe. I just need to fix this. Actually, why do we even need the shape anymore? What am I doing? Take out the shape. We already uh, took out the photos here. So we have this and then let's change the colors a bit. <laughs> Um, let's see. 
there's not enough live streams about acrobat that is true that is true i actually am still learning acrobat like i know acrobat's been around for a really long time the pdf has been here since before i was born i think um right yes <laughs> okay i had to think about it for a second i was like right um but yeah, I'm still learning how to use Acrobat as, like, I've used Acrobat as a student. And so I know how to, like, you know, open PDFs, read them, stuff like that. And then um, when I was freelancing, I learned how to use it to, like, send form or not send forms, but, like, make forms, edit forms, all that stuff. Um, and then now... Recently, I've started using Acrobat for um, shipping labels because I've started to do um, subscriber perks on my Twitch channel. And so I ship stuff out now. <laughs> and so learning how to open like shipping labels, getting them right on like my printer and stuff like that. I have like a Dymo printer. Um, so, you know, I'm still learning how to use Acrobat in different ways. Uh, let's see if let's do an outline shadow. Let's see what that looks like. This is cute. Mm -mm. I could probably do the same here. Are there any streams on bridge? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Maybe you're a cat? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, find habit is the most powerful thing for me. I just need to stop reinforcing time-wasting habits. Yes, I agree with that. Creating more, like, habits and systems. Um, and, like, stackable, like, tasks and stuff. You know, like really creating that system um to be more productive so that i feel like for me when it comes to like doing things <laughs> when it when it comes to making an effort <laughs> it um i feel like sometimes things are so like out of reach sometimes when really it's because a system hasn't been created yet so it feels like I'm exerting a lot of energy so like the goal is to like get things more on autopilot and feel like less of a heavy lift like less of um, feeling like you're going out of your way to do something um I don't know that's just how I see it <clears throat> getting outdoors with a camera is great for your health and general well-being oh, I agree Oliver like I find that too. I just got a macro lens that I love. Too bad it's 30 mph winds. Ah! And 30 degrees. Ooh, uh, I don't know what the wind chill is. Adobe made PDF in 1992. Okay, we're in the clear. PDF is two years older than me. That's wild. Okay, so now we have this vision board. And you can keep it like this, but we're going to take it one step further. I like a little bit of, uh, a little bit of chaos. A little bit of you know disorganization I guess I don't know um, but we're going to add in some more you know text or like even um, we're gonna add in some shapes maybe some stickers um, and cut out some images and kind of mess this up a little bit make this like you know as maximalist as we can <laughs> okay so going into photos um uh, let's add more food like i feel like we have one we have one picture of like a balanced meal so maybe let's look up more like hmm <laughs> i want to say more food bowls but i think i'm gonna get like ceramics but you know what? let's try bowls <laughs> oh we did it oh my gosh Wow. Okay. So let's definitely get one of these on here. 
Let's hit remove background. I'm 13 years older than PDF. <gasps> that really puts it into perspective, right? Wait, what is the original photo? Oh, hold on. Also, I don't know why I'm always working from so, so far away. Let's restore some of the bowl because we need that. Oh, wait, go back, go back. And the picture's gone. <laughs> Let's restart it here, hold on. Adobe Express, hello. Good morning, Adobe Express. Time to wake up. If I have to be up, you have to be up. Except last week. Y'all remember, was it last week? Or the week, the week before where I sadly had to cancel Masterclass because Adobe Express forgot to show up. <laughs> I was sad that day. I was sitting here and I was like, ah. Sad. Um, okay. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh, food. Bowl. I remember when you had to engrave our documents into Slate. Stop. Wait. Explain that. Can you elaborate on that really quick? What do you mean? Like, actually? On the... Or was that sarcasm? It's hard to detect sarcasm over chat. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay. I hate to say it. But I'm... Oh. 27 years older than PDF. That's wild. So what did y'all do? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait, not replace. Oops, remove background. Um, it would have been more funny if Express showed up in its long underwear. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, okay, 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 Oliver. <laughs> I had a feeling. I was like, there's no way. There is no way. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let's erase this avocado. Oh, man. Okay, let's restore this bowl. You guys crack me up. Okay, that works. It's not perfect, but it works. So we're gonna go ahead and then just place this somewhere that's not disruptive. Maybe down here. Oh yeah, this, this area needs a little bit of color. I remember when wheels were made of stone. Okay, okay, y'all. <laughs> y'all have jokes today. Before PDF, you use postscript files, I think. No, mostly printed stuff and faxed it. Oh, fax. We used real paper and snail mail. 12 years younger than the PDF. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Faxing. I remember faxing. At the time when I was young, I would watch my parents like fax documents and stuff. And I would just be like, where is it going? Is magic. And then now we have like emails and stuff. Do people still fax things? I think so, right? Uh, what was I? Oh, oh yeah. Fitness. I just got some like dumbbells in there. I definitely want to do more like stretching for mobility <laughs> I need I need more mobility 
uh, exercises. Your girl's not as flexible as, as she once was when she was a, a little tiny tot on the playground. Um, let's go with the pink ones. There's these are like two pounds. You know what? We can't look like a wimp. Let's go with the five pounds, right? These look like five pounds. Mm -mm. What, 27 years older than PDF? Huh? You're 27 years older than PDF, Umicorn? Maybe like here. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Okay. Um, what else can we do? We could do like another travel. Also, you also don't have to use stock photos. I like stock photos because, you know, I can get photos of things that I probably wouldn't be able to do. But if you have like your favorite memories or things that you want to take more of, like your own photography, pictures of you doing something, definitely put those on there as well. It does not all have to be stock photos. Um, what was I thinking? Oh, I was gonna do another travel thing, but I want like a person cut out. Maybe if I put travel person. No, not me, oh. <laughs> Just read Llama Mama's comment. You read it out loud. You you read Llama Mama's comment out loud that you typed it again in the comments. <laughs> that is a skill. Um. Let's see. Do we have we have half body photos? I need a full body photo. I want a lady or some entity climbing a mountain. I think this is fine, maybe? This is a dude, okay. Oh my God, this is such a cool photo. Okay, remove background, let's see what happens. Oh, he's so tiny. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, um, oh his shoes are gone though. What happens if we restore? This man don't got shoes showing. That's okay. That's okay because you know why? I'm gonna put a quote. Ooh, do you think there's photos of quotes? I mean, we can always make one. Oh, there's photos of quotes. No way. What does this one say? I wish this menu pulls out a little bit more. Um, so we could see a little bit more options. Pain is real, but so is hope. Okay. I remember doing online orders before the days of online payments by printing the form and faxing it. Whoa! Sad but true, I remember the fax. That's why I'm a llama mama. <laughs> Um, okay, let's look at this one. Live simply, be grateful, give love, laugh lots. I mean, I'm down. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, remove background. And then we can, we can erase this flower. Um, as you can see, like making vision boards is really, it's almost similar to like cutting out, you know, magazines and stuff like that, putting different elements, um, on a page and making them all work together. I don't know. These are like my favorite projects. Okay. So we're going to cover this man's non-feet. <laughs> 
and then let's put something original so let's do let's add a text box and then maybe let's grab a f one of the phrase templates hmm and then oh i know what we can, oh these are cute these are cute I like these. Let's do maybe this circle one. Reset your mindset. I love that. We can change this to like if you have like a brand tagline or a mantra that you always use or like a quote that you live by could use that here so for me it's create give inspire and you'll see that literally everywhere on all my socials and everything and it's just basically what I do for me it means like create art or do something that you love give back to the community and inspire others to do the same so it's kind of like I guess my my personal they're not even brand values they're personal values at this point as a creator I feel like that's like mainly what I want to do is just to inspire others to um be or to feel empowered to be creative or pursue a creative career if that's what they want like you know just do something that you're happy doing for the rest of your life because life is too short to work a job that you hate <laughs> and to do something that you're not super passionate about. And I am I remember in my career journey, I was doing things that I was like so, so about, but I was like so miserable. But then, because I just didn't think I would make it as like an artist or a creator. But then once I got rid of that mindset and stopped talking myself down from what I wanted to do, like my life changed. And what, four, almost four years later, and I'm here talking to you all, teaching you how to use Adobe Express, making fun projects, connecting with other creators, like really like four, five, not even five, probably like since I was a sophomore in college when I started my YouTube channel like that's really all I wanted was to find community and other creators and to learn and also teach so moral of the story don't give up on your dreams <laughs> I, want, I don't want this to really say vision I think maybe I want it to say something more personal like my vision for 2023 even though i would also love to have 2020 vision <laughs> next year i don't think it's gonna happen next year that's a whole other story Eh, this is fine or maybe if i oh no wonder it's on the magic thing oh we could do oh what if i do why is vision such a long word Oh, okay, here we go. We could do this. And then we will break this up. Maybe something like this. Uh, do I get a prize for being the oldest? <laughs> you get the utmost respect in this masterclass cohort you are you get uh you you are the wisest one <laughs> Ooh, you know what would be fun for even next year we could do this early january or something but if we did um superlatives class superlatives that would be so much fun. 
Um, gratitude is a great habit to develop. Yes, agreed. Gratitude is definitely something that I practice every day because not even just my career, but just like anything, anything in life, meeting a new friend, learning a new skill. You know, I just view everything that you get to experience in life as like a blessing and a privilege because not everyone gets to do the same things that you do or have the same opportunities. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, you know what would be a good photo? Okay, friends. We need some friends in here. We need to socialize again. Friends. Um, I'm ready to do this project, but I missed the beginning. So I have to go back and watch. No worries. Yes, Tim, all the replays. The great part is, is you get to watch all the replays that you want. You can relive some of the the Adobe Express master classes. <laughs> you can catch the beginning of this one as well. Okay, I don't know how this one's gonna turn out. Ashley looks so happy. Okay. Um, I'll take respect. Wisdom doesn't always come with age, however. That is true. That is true. Ooh, how fun. Okay, wait. Oh, what if I did? Okay, wait. We're getting, ugh, we have a lot of layers. Can move this. Now I feel like there needs to be a background here, but I'm, I'm scared that we're not gonna be able to like read what's in the back. Or maybe that's not a great spot for it. Or is it? Or maybe we can change the color. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is turning out so well. And then, okay, and even though this is a cutout, you can also do crop and shape. And then let's say like there's rough edges or something, you can go for like a circle, square, or like maybe any of these to like clean up any edges. But I don't think any of these work. The square might work. I thought the oval we'd be able to rotate, but I guess we don't. But that's okay. We'll just keep it as such. So we could have just put that there. That's fine. Um, and then... Uh, <clears throat> I have this thing where I get older, but just never wiser. <laughs> oh my gosh, Oliver, what song was that? I don't know that song. Or at least it's hard for me to identify songs without hearing them. <laughs> or <laughs> knowing or someone just outright telling me. Um, okay, what else is there? Ooh, music. I want to get back into music. Um, I used to play the piano and stuff like that for like 18 years before I went to college. And I have like a, a electronic like keyboard um, in my apartment, but I haven't gotten to, or I, I have used it, but I, I stopped because of work and stuff. But I really want to get back into it. That'd be so much fun. Okay, I need like a photo I can cut out. Oh my gosh. A piano on the sunset, like in the water. Wait, that's kind of cool. Actually, let's do this shit. This photo. We're running out of space here, but that's okay. We can overlap as much as we want, make it as full as we want. 
right now I'm really challenging myself because normally I'm very minimalist with like my design um, so I'm trying to just get out of my comfort zone a little bit and make something a little bit more more maximalist but also like just outside of my comfort zone Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, antihero. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really studied the lyrics a lot. I need to do that. Cool. Okay, and then now we're just gonna add, okay, I think images are good. Now I think we just need to add things that I like. <laughs> so, like, I wanna add, we can do shapes, but I really like keeping it mostly photos. So I think maybe we'll just like keep cutting out more things. So like, I've been really into like butterflies lately. So to even just cut some out and just like putting them around the page. Oh, look, this is so cool. What are these blue ones? Wait, oh my gosh. Um, let me back up. Most of my quotes are from Taylor Swift songs. Oh, are you a Taylor Swift fan? Like a like a, a super fan? Ew. Oh, and then oh, okay, okay. And then let's do one of these. Like what would it look like? If one was over the other. Oh, it looks so good. And then, oh, okay. This background. Can I go to the background? Oh my gosh, we have so many layers. Oh, I really don't want to move. Okay, wait. We have so many layers, y'all. Okay, wait. What if we change the color to like a light blue, just so it's not like completely white? Oh man, I need to find the other. Oh, here it is. more we have a few minutes left in this class mm -mm -mm. maybe I mean I own all of her albums the originals and re-releases whoa we have a super fan oh my gosh wait Oliver do you I, I'm pretty sure you might but do you stream on Behance because I would love to see a Taylor Swift themed stream if you haven't done one already um, I think we might be okay here yeah these are really big clusters okay last one last one last one Perfect. Oh my gosh. These, this came out so good. All right. So this is pretty much it for the mood board. I love how it turned out. And of course, you can always resize this project um, or, you know, into like a phone background, a desktop wallpaper, 
whatever you want or even just make it like make your vision board bigger and add more photos but with that that pretty much concludes for this class is there a limit on layers not that i know of um i don't know how many layers i have but as you can see definitely over like the 30 mark but um yeah can you merge layers uh when you group them um it merges into one layer um but yeah no i don't stream. yeah you should stream all over oh my gosh um can't remember if there is a limit i think there is but it's really high i don't think you'll you have a problem hitting it um but yeah so that's it for this vision board class and this is the last master class of the year thank you all so much for watching um and yeah i hope you have a really great rest of your 2022 if you make a vision board please post it on social and tag me at katrina trios or at adobe express so we can see what you made and repost and yeah it's been a pleasure being y'all's instructor this year um and i hope to see you all again next year um yeah happy holidays y'all and happy new year and i'll see you next time Bye bye